Hello, humans. First of all, this is not Coca-Cola. There's water. This is coffee with two stevias. Yeah. As you guys know, I have a little issue with my camera, and I have not been able to really film much since then. So today, I'm going to do the quick question and answer that I said I was going to do so long ago, but never got to. And uh, yeah, so that'll be fun. So let's get going. Also, my shirt is like really not doing too hot. And I also, just so you guys know, never dress like this. This is just special for, for all my friends out there. I just got looked at so hard. <laughs> okay. What is your most favorite memory from your life so far? Favorite, oh my god, these are, this is already a hard question. Favorite memory from my life? Probably visiting St. John. We, my family went to St. John in, I don't remember the year, I think I was a freshman in high school and it was beautiful and it was just a great trip and it was great to be with my family and I love my family so much so it was a good time so I think that's my favorite memory so far so my sister had mono on it so she didn't really enjoy it too much um, what's your five year plan look like I'm still in college and I will be graduating next year so a year from this May and I don't know what I want to do <laughs> like literally don't know what I want to do at all but I do know that I want to move to California so that's part of the five year plan whether or not I will be working in a corporate setting is I think the biggest question. I would love to be able to do something creative like YouTube. I love creating videos and I love editing videos. So if I could do something like that, I would rather than maybe sitting behind a desk. As I've mentioned, I just, you know, haven't gotten figured out yet. Got some time though. The camera's moving. Stop. Stop moving. What's something you wish you knew? when you started on your fitness journey. I wish I knew, or wish I had a like different perspective about every single exercise, like not exercise, right? Every single time I go to the gym, um, I would feel like if I didn't get to the gym, I was back on my goals because so you'd always hear people say, you know, like there's no excuses. Like if you really want, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, blah, blah, blah. Which I do agree, but there'd be days I literally could not go because I was either injured or some other thing was happening. So I would always get so bogged down about it. feel like I was like running out of time, but there is no like time limit to like fitness and to living a healthy life. I mean, this is gonna be your whole life, hopefully, unless you change your habits randomly, but this should be your whole life. So there's no like time limit. Like take your time, like chill out. It's really gonna be okay. And I think that's what I needed the most when I was first starting out. I want to need to hear that. If you could visit any place in the world, where would it be? I already know the answer. I don't know how I'm stalling. Thailand. I want to go to Thailand so badly and I don't really know why. I think I've always seen pictures of it and it looks really cool. It's also a really cheap place to visit um, because I think their currency is worth less than ours. So you can get things really cheap over there and you can visit it really cheap. It's just a very far trek and by yourself if you wanted to. I don't think I could do that. What was your favorite sport when growing up? It depends if you're talking about um, sport to play or sport to watch. My favorite sport to watch is football. It's always been just because my family watches it all the time. I love it. Um, I'm a Giants fan. I'm sorry if that offends anybody. If you're a Cowboys fan, feel free to stop watching. Kidding. But my favorite sport to play i used to play soccer and then i quit to play volleyball and then i got cut from volleyball so what are some books you would recommend to others i'm happy this question was answered answered i'm happy this question was asked because i just got a book that i want to share with you guys the power of positive thinking by norman vincent peel so this book i just picked up actually and I love self-help books just because they like help you have like a more positive outlook on life and on a lot of different things, not just personally, but professionally in your relationships. They definitely help you a lot and just having like the constant thoughts in your mind and like constant reminders in your mind to be positive and to be happy really helps in hard times. This book, I highly recommend. There was one quote in particular that just like, I'm honestly only on like page 12, <laughs> but there's one quote, it says, do the thing you fear and the death of fear is certain. That literally just like hit me so hard because everything that I've done with fitness in terms of starting lifting, in terms of starting my fitness Instagram, starting my fitness blog, starting my YouTube, everything that I've done, I've had to conquer a fear. And it's to the point where once you conquer it, like it's no longer a fear. You literally kill the fear by just doing it. Um, and I think that's awesome. 
like to just live by and I literally wrote it down and I'm probably gonna think about it a lot this book I recommend it does talk a lot about God though so if you're like an extreme atheist who is really opposed to religion and stuff maybe you don't want it but it was in my library so I took it if you could snap your fingers and have something end up in the palm of your hand what would it be my dogs I love my dogs to death and it sucks when I'm not with them because they make me happy and I get to cuddle with them, but it could be Amber. But that doesn't work because I'm here and they're there. What two top tips would you give to growing your glutes? Time under tension is the first one. I think too many people just go through the motions to go through the motions of exercises and don't really focus on feeling it and, and really understanding what your muscles are doing. For example, Romanian deadlifts. I see girls all, those, all the time just like go down with the dumbbells and come back up. First of all, form on Romanian deadlifts are, is really hard to master. I don't think I've mastered either. But there are a lot of girls who really are not too great at it. And I think it's because they're too focused on just going through the motions and not feeling it where they're supposed to feel it. Again, I don't know everything, but I think that is one of my top tips for growing your glutes. And number two, accessory work. I know everyone is such a fan of squats and such a fan of deadlifts, and I get that. I have never, not never, I do not barbell squat. I just don't, it's just not something I wanted to do. I have been thinking about like adding it into my workouts. It's just my back is still not in the best place, so I haven't done it yet. But everything that I've built with my, with my lower body has not been with barbell squats. I think there are a ton of different exercises. You have to find what you what feels best for you and what works best for you because everyone's different. Everyone has different um, genes. Growing my glutes is like kind of easier for me than growing my quads, so I don't really feel like I need to do barbell squats. My opinion, you know. If you'd be one thing for the rest, of, the rest of your life, what would it be? If I could eat one thing for the rest of my life and not get fat, probably quesadillas. I love quesadillas. Um, what is your favorite place to be in your free time other than the gym and why? I don't really have <laughs> their favorite place. <laughs> I love my, I love my, my bed. <laughs> I'm a really exciting person. What is the deepest, darkest secret you have? Um, I gotta say, my deepest, darkest secret is that I am not the person I say I am. Two-faced. I, I, um, so can I explain this? My last name currently is Ross, R-O-S-S, -S, Ross. But I was born gross, G-R-O-S-S. -S. And then in kindergarten, my brother got made fun of. So we, when I was like four, I think, four or three, we took off the G. And now we're just the Ross family. How do you handle those in your fitness journey? I definitely do get lows. I'm in a time now where I'm like really confident and happy with everything that's going on except for the fact that I can't train upper body and I've lost a lot of muscle in my upper body but I'm still like I've never been so happy with where I'm at like mentally and like physically and everything. When I am in a low though, like I said, try to remember that this is like a lifelong thing. It's okay to have a month, two months, even a year where you're just like not so into it because a year compared to like 20, 30 years that you're going to be living healthily is really just not gonna matter that much in the long term. So how did you get into fitness and what is your current workout split like? So I've answered this question on a different YouTube video if you wanna go watch that about how I got into fitness. To sum it up briefly, I was in a very bad place freshman year not happy with myself, not happy with my habits, and I was just really desperate for a change. I mean, there's so many influencers, as you guys know, on Instagram, I follow Jen Heward, Heward? I don't know how to say her last name, Honey Buns, Fit, <laughs> if you know her, and Buff Bunny, and those two were kind of like the ones who really were the catalysts that helped me figure out how to change my lifestyle and change my habits, and it was not an easy process, it was not a fun process. I was oftentimes frustrated and upset and confused, but I worked my way through it. I learned, and I think that's the only way you can do it, is just do it. Just do it. It wasn't a current workout, but like, so I can't train upper body, as I said, for like the 10th time now. But I hope I can get back into that soon. But when I was training upper body, it was shoulders and biceps, back and triceps, legs, and a separate arm slash chest day. Moving on. I literally keep, just keep getting stared at. <laughs> People are walking by and they're just like, what is this girl doing? I got a question about sodium. Sodium or dehydration in general sucks because you 
feel the effects physically and uh, like you see the effects and you feel the effects when you are dehydrated either from sodium or from alcohol intake or from just not drinking enough water your body actually goes into survival mode which means it will hold on to the water that it has in your body for longer than like letting it sweat out because it thinks it's not gonna get any more water so that's why you will get like the puffy cheeks and the puffy skin and feel like so heavy and just feel like you gain like 10 pounds in like a day number one tip drink water just drink a ton of water just give it water give it up when you're out to eat try to ask for no salt they pour salt in meals even salads there's so, so much sodium so be aware of that if you're making your own food be aware of how much you're seasoning in even if you're not using salt some seasonings you might be using has salt in it so be careful of that marinades have so much sodium sauces condiments um, anything that comes processed or pre-packaged will tend to have more sodium than fresh foods so i do suggest having fresh foods more often so fresh vegetables i love eating just like sweet bell peppers or baby peppers or carrots or cucumbers because they obviously don't have sodium and they fresh you can go for you fresh fruit it's also good for you i'm not saying don't go into the packaged things i certainly do just be aware of the sodium that's one thing i definitely do check on the ingredients list frequently is the sodium that's basically all the questions i hope this was at least a little bit entertaining and got to know a little bit more about my life because it's cold just kidding it's not cold it's just it's just me but i also want to talk about the change in my youtube i want to be more realistic with you guys about how to have a healthy lifestyle and still be like a college student who goes out and has fun with their friends and sometimes gets hung over and sometimes eats bad food all that stuff i want to be as real with you guys as possible to show you that it's possible to be happy healthy and social i really don't think it has to be one or the other happy or healthy or social i guess one or the other two if you are doing fitness for a specific goal like a competition that might be different listen to what your coach is saying i i can't really give my suggestions for from that end but if you're trying to get into fitness for just a lifelong happiness healthiness thing then i don't think that you have to cut out alcohol i don't think you have to cut out getting pizza after you go out and if you do restrict yourself like that you are just going to end up binging and making it worse it's supposed to be a lifelong thing and creating healthy habits and that means sometimes we need to let ourselves be happy and just live in the moment you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna be making some changes to this channel stay tuned and if you guys want to um subscribe comment and like this video if i offend 10 people and help one person then i think i'm doing my job so hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about me um as always you can follow my instagram kelly nicole fit and see you in the next video